There we go. Okay. Hey, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for coming back. And those of you who do not know me, my name is FightMMD and I'm a user experience designer in Toronto with over 10 years of experience. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so today I'm gonna to talk about two things that are very similar. And as you can pretty much guess by this title, is how to create the perfect drop shadow in two different ways, which I'm sure will be very helpful for you guys. And it'll be done on Adobe XD. I'm gonna show you guys how this is possible. I got my screen right here, as you can see. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's get this party started, shall we? Okay, so as you can see, this is an object. I can literally do whatever I want with it. It's a black color shadow. I can even change the color if I want. Let's go with red, see that? Let's do this, or maybe this color. I don't know, what is your favorite color, right? So we can do, does this literally apply them? And please don't apply your favorite color. That is bad UX. Okay, now back to business. So the first off is you create an object. So I'm just gonna duplicate this one right here I'm just gonna take this picture out so you guys can see it clearly I'm going to remove this let's remove that and that all right cool this is how it's done I'm just gonna remove this for now as well and I'm gonna remove the shadow okay so the first thing you gotta do is create an object and how do you do this very simple you can select either rectangle or just this circle right here so let's just go with rectangle for example you create your rectangle let's get rid of the border not a big fan let's make it black okay awesome the edges sure why not all right cool so you got this so let's just imagine this object is this right here so i can just delete that okay thank you for paying attention all right so number one i'm just gonna i'm gonna duplicate this because i need it to be white like this after so i'm just gonna right click uh, copy or you can do Control c command c whatever technology you're using lol right here you'll see background object blur but you know what we don't need this guy here we need it his cousin which is right here it's called object blur they hide it i do not know why they hide it and that's literally it so you have blurred this object and you can pretty much make it super strong or super light right super strong super light super strong super right super strong super right super strong nope i see you guys are not paying attention now okay anyways okay enough kidding around for him people are here learn and they have a short attention spam all right so anyway so let's just say we make it to what did we do for, for this guy here we made it 28 all right so we do 28 and then you take this guy right here you just apply it on top and that's pretty much it it's it's literally that easy and it's very very simple and just and at this point you just have to play around with it you can make it lighter by decreasing the opacity or you can go full 100 percent 100 percent is not really ideal i would probably say like stick to like 30 percent or less and then just make it go down like that see now you have a background shadow and you can just pretty much do whatever you want with it the difference between this one here and the one i'm going to show you right now is duplicate it and remove the shadow and this, and this is the easiest way to apply a shadow it's literally you can select anything you want for example you can just select um, this object here click on shadow it's already, already selected um you can click on for example let's just say this image here come on get out get out get out okay there we go this does not have a shadow as you can tell so you can just so as you can see this object has been selected i click on shadow bang shadow has been applied because it's so light you really cannot see it and now you can see it right over here right pretty cool pretty 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 cool so let's just leave that there well you can even tell that this one stands out right now because there's a shadow there all right so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get rid of that as you can see the object which looks exactly like this has been selected i'm just gonna i'm gonna click on the shadow that's it and you and you have to play around with your coordinates and the colors. I guess 23 is good, or you can even go 55%, 100%, change the colors if you like, and that's it. The way how I did this is very simple. First, I have applied the background image. I created my first object as a blur. Therefore, I can apply the shadow first, and then on top of it, I've added the white object which you guys can see here and it has a light shadow which is like literally 
nothing. I mean, I think I can just get rid of this and you want to be able to tell. Yeah, see, you, you really cannot tell. But since I'm a detailed guy, I'm a, that's one of my OCD, I guess. I just have it right here and that is it. That is it. So, yeah, there you go. To review back, we got the first one, which is selected as an object blur, which is hidden under background. It's always going to be hidden under background. And number two is the object itself applying the shadow with which always appears when you click on the object. If it doesn't appear, there's a good chance that the object is actually is grouped together. So once it's grouped together, you really cannot change it. You have to double click on it and then you can change it if you like. Okay, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, so yeah, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this content, please like the video and if you haven't already please subscribe let's join this family together we're currently at whatever we were yeah so we're currently at 372 extremely happy uh in i think five days period we we went from 331 to 371 that is amazing and those of you who do not know i'm currently doing a giveaway for you guys and that is i'm currently designing uh app ui on adobe xd which will be out on my birthday april 27th this year obviously and yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna give that to you guys it will have most likely more than 10 pages of designs like like uh, user profile login and all that stuff um all you need to do is subscribe and that's it that's pretty much it i did make a video about it where it shows the design it's on my previous video i will link it in this video as well and also i'll put a link on my description below if you're on dribble behance uh, twitter facebook i'll put a link to those as well description below obviously and yeah that's it until then i'll see you on another day peace out